Take a look at this video. Now, the owner of this store says that man in the blue shirt stole $2,000 cash. And only on 10 News, our reporter Joe Little reveals the trick that accused thief is using to target local businesses. Well, certainly you feel violated. Anyone would feel violated if someone walked into their store and stole their money. But Ted Snowdy isn't taking it sitting down. Certainly picked on the wrong store. Snowdy showed me the security video from last week. It shows a man in a blue shirt come into the Escondido Thai therapeutic massage owned by Snowdy's wife. I'm that far today. We're blurring his face because we don't actually see him commit a crime. Took off his backpack and set his backpack down. The video shows him offer a second credit card after the first one was declined. Okay. It's at this point, Snowdy says he took advantage of the distracted employees. He created a distraction with his own, own credit card, walked out of sight, and came into the employee area. Snowdy says he took $2,000 out of an employee's purse. He's gone not 30 seconds. The employees didn't even notice as his second credit card is declined. Sorry. Snowdy was angry when he saw the video. The girls that work here are honest working. And he says he knows suspicious behavior when he sees it. Snowdy spent 30 years in law enforcement, most of that as a San Diego County Sheriff's deputy. He asked around and learned two other Escondido massage establishments were targeted with similar credit card distractions by a two-man crew or this guy. Four hours earlier, two blocks away, this same man had presented two credit cards that were declined. Here's the picture. Same shirt, same shorts, same man. But he got away with nothing here. We feel doubly violated. Snowdy wants his employees and other businesses to be aware of this man or anyone else distracting them with a similar scam. In Escondido, Joe Little, 10 News. All right, Snowdy says the employee had so much money on her because she just cashed her paycheck. If you know the man in that video, you're asked to call Escondido Police.